Today we're going to refurbish an older Pacific BR5 with the BR5 refurbishment kit. Packfire recommends refurbishing the internal components of your BR5 every three to five years or if the helmet is being passed on to a new team member. Before we get started, let's assemble some materials you'll need for this process. Something soft to work on, in this example we're using a piece of foam. A Phillips head screwdriver or similar tool with a smaller head to pop the rivets for the chin strap. In this video, we're going to be using a Phillips head screwdriver. And the BR5 refurbishment kit. There are two different kits available, one with ribbon suspension and one with a mesh insert. Today, we're using BR5 refurb kit, which includes the ribbon suspension. If you have a face shield fitted, let's remove it and place it safely out of the way. We won't need it while fitting the refurbishment kit. To remove the clip-on face shield, grip the hinge and pull upward. Before you start working on your helmet, we recommend cleaning the exterior with an approved product to remove any built-up contamination. We recommend SC14 All-Purpose Cleaner. It has been specifically formulated to remove dirt and contaminants without compromising the integrity of the item you're cleaning. SC14 has been tested and endorsed by the industry leading helmet manufacturer, Pacific Helmets. Now that's out of the way, let's remove all the old components that we will be replacing with the refurb kit. To remove the neck protector, locate the edge and pull it away from the helmet's shell. Next, let's remove the helmet's headband and ribbon suspension. There are six suspension points which fasten the headband to the helmet's shell. Hold the first suspension point and push up firmly until you hear it unclip from the dome fastener. Repeat this process for the remaining five suspension points. Let's move on to the chin strap. Unbuckle the Pacific quick release clip. Using the Phillips head screwdriver or similar tool with a smaller head, pop the rivets out of each side. Your chin strap should now be in two pieces. We also need to replace the dome fasteners. We find it easiest to push each of the dome pieces out from the inside of the helmet, as shown. You have successfully removed all the old components from your BR5 helmet. Now is a great opportunity to wipe down the inside of your helmet. We're using the same product that we applied to the outside of the shell, SC14 All-Purpose Cleaner. Great, now that's all done, it's time to fit the new components from the refurbishment kit. Inside the kit you'll find a B2022504 Pacific Ratchet Adjustable Headband with front and rear merino comfort padding and ribbon suspension. A B2033120 two-point chin strap with quick release buckle. Two A107212 replacement rivets for the chin strap. A B206077, a set of six dome fasteners. And a B204160 neck protector. We find it easier to fit the chin strap first, so that's where we're gonna start. Your new chin strap will be in two pieces. Let's fit the smaller piece with the quick release buckle first. This piece should be fitted to the right hand side of your helmet. Attach by pushing the rivet through the pre-drilled hole. Time to move on to the longer piece. You're going to want to fit this with the label facing inward. Push the rivet through the pre-drilled hole and make sure it's secure. Let's replace the six dome fasteners. Locate the six pre-drilled holes around the perimeter of the helmet. Push the smaller end of the dome piece through each hole. Don't worry if it seems a little loose, the headband will hold these pieces firmly in place. You'll find that there will be an extra ribbon loose with the headband. That's normal, place it to the side and we're going to tackle that one last. 
Place the headband back into the helmet shell with the plastic tabs pointing into the shell and the ratchet adjuster at the back, like shown. Clip the headband back on by threading the dome piece through the larger bottom hole and push down until you hear it clip into place. Do that for all four points located on the headband. Find the ribbon piece that you set aside earlier. Ensure the label is pointing towards the inside of the shell. Push the ribbon piece through the slot in the headband, then thread the dome piece through the larger bottom hole and push down until it clicks. Pass the ribbon piece under the two connected to the headband. Thread the end through the slot in the headband and clip onto the corresponding dome piece on the other side of the helmet. Your neck protector fastens to your helmet via hook and loop strips. Line up the hook on the neck protector with the corresponding piece of loop on the helmet shell. Press down, then run your finger along the area to ensure the neck protector is fitted firmly. To fit the clip-on face shield, line up the raised area on the hinge with the slot on the easy on-off base. Press down firmly until you hear it click. That's it, you've successfully fitted the BR5 refurbishment kit to your helmet and now it's ready for service. Not sure which model of Pacific helmet you have? Check the inside of your helmet. There will be a sticker with your model circled. You can find detailed written instructions in your Pacific Helmets user product manual, which comes with your helmet. Can't find yours? Don't worry. You can download an electronic copy via the link in the description box. A full range of spare parts for the Pacific BR5 Wildland Firefighting Helmet is available online, including the new refurbishment kit. Search the range now by navigating to packfire.com.au, selecting helmets and then spare parts. Thanks for watching and don't forget to like, comment and subscribe to us on YouTube for more video content. You can also follow us on Facebook and LinkedIn.